Okay, welcome everybody to another video tutorial brought to you by radiosolution.info. In this video tutorial, we will be learning how to manage WHM Sonic's Auto DJ feature. It will include uploading files with an FTP client. Uh, this was explained in detail on another video that is available on our website at www.radiosolution.info and that's found under video tutorials right here. The video is called Transferring Files with Core FTP. So click on that and uh, you will get a detailed um, de you will get detailed instructions on how to transfer your files using uh, this particular program called Core FTP. Please note that you can use a uh, client or a software client um, of your choice, FileZilla or uh, WSFTP or any program of your choice. First of all, what we're going to do is log into our account. Uh, this cPanel information is always provided to you by our representative at, Red at Radio Solution, or you might have received it by email. In this case, my URL is going to be HTTP forward slash forward slash xltracks.com colon 2082 I then will input my username and password that was provided to me Notice that you will log directly into a cPanel uh, account. With WHM Sonic, you have two types of accounts. It's internal or external. Internal is used if you have a complete hosting package with a website, emails, etc. And in this case, you will log into a cPanel uh, just like this one here. Uh, with a WHM Sonic external account, uh, you will be uh, logging directly into your uh, WHM Sonic Shoutcast Admin Pro and you will skip this set this this uh, section here so just click on WHM Sonic Shoutcast Admin Pro and uh, we will fall directly into uh, the options um, that we have in this case we're going to be looking at Auto DJ Management okay so from this menu management from the auto DJ management you have the ability to set up auto DJ uh, if this wasn't already done by radio solution um, you just simply click on set up auto DJ and you have the ability to select the type of encoder for the stream either AAC plus HD or mp3 more often uh, you will be choosing mp3 since AAC plus uh, has uh, certain limitations to what player can actually play this encoder. You will be limited to Winamp and the Sonic player, um, which uh, is a disadvantage for those using Windows Media, Flash Player, etc. So we're going to go ahead and click on MP3. Uh, this is the format that is supported by all the players out there. From this menu, we see our username. Uh, the account status if it's active, uh, the radio status if it's online. It's very important that your radio uh, is online. You can go ahead and type in the title for your radio, uh, the URL for the website of your radio, the genre, uh, for example, pop, club, rock, dance, uh, etc. Uh, the MP3 store, this is where your uh, files will be stored. Uh, this path usually begins with home slash your username slash mp3 or music where we're going to see how uh, we're going to be able to determine that later. Uh, the DJ port is uh, the port that is used uh, in um, uh, DJ Manager which is a new technology uh, that we will see later on in another video tutorial. You have uh, your bit rate that was set to you uh, at the uh, account opening. You have channel, which we normally set to stereo unless you want a mono sound. Shuffle, on or off. 
Uh, if you want to shuffle uh, and play your songs at random, you may select on. Auto mix. If uh, you want one song to fade into the other, you can have that option activated or disactivated with on and off. And choose from the menu uh, the auto mix length in seconds. So you can set that uh, to your choice. In this case, we have our auto DJ um, already set up, so we're just going to go back. We're going to click on Manage, and we're going to get the information uh, that is already set uh, in the system here. So our title was XL Tracks XL Country. The URL of our website www.xltracks.com. The genre is country. Uh, our particular uh, base MP3 store is in home slash XL count slash music. Our DJ port is 6554. The bit rate that is authorized is 128. Uh, these settings here um, are reset each time you click on manage. Uh, but uh, again, you can go ahead and select uh, whatever you want, whether it's channel, shuffle, or auto mix. So since our uh, auto DJ is already set up, we're going to go uh, back. And uh, we're going to show you how uh, to upload uh, music uh, so that it will become active in the Auto DJ and uh, therefore playing on your website. So to transfer files we're going to show you briefly two ways. Of course the first way as we already discussed in a previous tutorial on Core FTP you can actually slide your songs from your hard drive onto the server. Just quickly, if we do a small demonstration, we go to connect. We have already a uh, site name in our site manager all set up. So this one was XL Country. The host was www.xltracks.com. The username was XLCOUNT. And we put in our password. The rest of the information all stays by default. Port 21, of course, is very important, and the connection FTP. So hit connect. You will notice that you on the left have your hard drive that you've chosen, and on the right you have your server. So if we remember the path, it was slash home slash the username, which was XLCOUNT, and then slash music. So we are already in home slash Excel C-O-U-N-T. We just need to find our folder music. Double click it. Please note that all of the subfolders from the folder music and on are all included when you upload and uh, reload your playlist. So in this particular case we had auto music where we've kept some of our sweepers and then in auto country uh, is where we kept all of our music. So here we have a list of music that our auto DJ is already shuffling through. So let's go back to the left here and choose the location that I want to get my song. In my particular case it's on the Z and then in music uh, the song I want is in other music in country and uh, this is a song called I Run To You and we're just going to drag that over and uh, it's going to upload onto the server directly. Please note that your song is not active on your radio station until you go back to your cPanel and the auto DJ management and actually reload your playlist. So this is something we're going to show you uh, in a little bit but before we do that we're going to show you how to upload songs through your cPanel if you have an internal cPanel hosting account. If you have an external account, please note that you will not be able to do this and you're going to have to use an application like Core FTP or FileZilla or WSFTP. So if you've got that internal account, simply click on Home at the top of your screen here and this is going to bring you back to your cPanel. We're going to use something that is included in cPanel called File Manager. 
through file manager we're going to be able to upload onto the server so we're gonna leave it on home directory and click on go the file manager window pops up and here we see our home directories at slash home slash XLCOUNT. Then we have all of the subdirectories underneath that path. Our directory, as you recall, was music, so just simply double click on it. And you will fetch the information under that directory. In our case, it was under auto music and auto country and here you will notice all of the songs that is on the server now if you want to add a song simply click upload new window will pop up this will be your upload window you're able to add three songs at a time so we're going to browse in our computer. Our window pops up so that we can choose a file to upload. We simply find the path where our music is located. In my, in my case, it's under music, other music, country. I'm going to go and get the Johnny Reed song here, You Gave My Heart a Home. and the system begins to upload the files automatically complete with a status that lets you know when it is complete now that your music is uploaded it is very important to return back to your control panel in the auto DJ management section and reload your playlist like this the song that you have added or the songs that you have added will then be included in the list of random songs that are going to be played on your radio. And that completes how to update your playlist and your auto DJ. Thank you for listening to this video tutorial. For any comments, suggestions, or if you require further assistance, please don't hesitate to visit www.radiosolution.info